All right, you know what? Something is really irritating the shit out of me. And yes, YouTube has got my channel too also. I'm going to rant a little bit about this though, but it's bugging my ass, man. So just pay attention here. Pay attention. I got something to say. out to my range today no shooting today i got some other things going on though but this is the reason why this is going down in my thoughts here uh playlist guys to so listen up um I peel off my sunglasses here because i know my hopefully sometimes they might distract you a little bit so as you know youtube it's been basically shadow banning gun channels even mine my small little channel too I mean, it got me the same way now. So I'm seeing that the last three videos that I've done, they've been semi-demonetized, basically limited ads or no ads or something like that. Okay. Now let me let's let me get this out here and just say straight out, just straight up. Okay. YouTube wasn't paying me shit to begin with. All right. I like doing these videos because I like teaching law-abiding citizens to give you tips and some added things, drills that you can do to help better yourself, to, for you to practice and help better yourself, to, to basically help you be more defensive in yourself, or should say, to help you be more prepared for your self-defense, okay? This is the reason why I like doing it, and, and it's aimed strictly for law-abiding citizens. So, that being said, the demonetization of my channel and everything like that, I mean, whatever. I mean, you see it going after mainly a ton of conservative channels, just about every gun channel out there, you know, I know all, I think we're all getting affected by it, okay, and they've been doing this for a while, and it's just irritating my ass, but not the simple fact, because, like I said, YouTube didn't pay me crap to begin with, you know, worth worth the crap, anyhow, some of the videos I've been putting out, man, I've been showing that my views are getting limited or slowed down, and that, okay, whatever, it is what it is. My thing is, the guys, that if you support channels, if you support creators of what we do or anything like that, this is the reason why we have other things to help us survive as a channel. Me, I'm trying to do this full time. So I'm not really relying on the YouTube monetization or ads I turn it on because I'm able to. So, but I know as the way it's set up, it's BS. So, with that being said, letting you guys know that yes you know I have things on Spreadshirt shirts and things on Teespring also you know my links all the gear and video equipment that I'm using such as what I'm using right now I'm running my GoPro Hero 7 black here so you know and all the gear and when I put it down in the links you guys see it down there and if you're interested in it if you're looking for it or something like that you know I truly appreciate it if you click on my links because it does help me out Okay, as you know, I get a small affiliate link or commission for the affiliate link to put down on all my gear and everything. And, and the thing is, is that all the stuff that I have, I actually believe in and I use. There's a ton of stuff and I get, believe me, I, I get a ton of emails from companies that want me to review some other stuff when they see my channel, which is nice and I appreciate it. But I, I, I turn down a lot of that stuff. I really do because there's a lot of stuff to where I honestly don't believe in. I just don't believe if it works for someone like me or someone similar to me that's watching my videos, how would it benefit them as well, okay? I mean, the last one I think I did was, uh, I believe that the le that leather wallet, that card-holding wallet. I'm I, not kidding. I still roll this thing. I mean, let me dig it out of my pocket here while I'm going down the road. But, guys, look at it. It's beat up. I believe in this thing. I did a review on this wallet. The company sent me out to it. And I was like, hey, let me check it out. Take a look at it. I've been rocking this thing. Sweating on it. Ever since. I mean, I believe in it. Okay. Other things that I have that I review, I believe in that stuff. And there's some stuff in there, you know, I'm going to give my honest opinion. I've got a couple other reviews coming up here. Some products. I'm going to give my honest opinion about it. Okay. But they're not, you know, top notch. I mean, there's one, um. There's one for a magazine holster, uh, 
an in pocket one, you know, and I'm, I, I haven't done that video yet. They sent me that thing out a year ago. I still haven't done it yet because I'm not sure about it. Okay, so with that being said, like I said, with the demonetization of my channel and stuff, whatever. Okay, but you guys can still, if you want to support me, I would appreciate it if you do. And I really do. And you can go to my Patreon page. You see links, all the everything, and what I'm doing is all the links is down in the description for all this, for all my videos. Okay. But my, my soft, my, I should say my soft rant because if I really start digging into it, and sometimes the guys are going to tell you, you know, I try to keep my language moderate. I dig into it a little deeper, you know, it's going to get real blue real quick. Okay. Try not to. I see my demographics and who's watching. Okay. It's for older, you know, this and that. But it, you know, I, still, I still try to keep... Uh, I try to keep my Christian cool to a degree, put it that way. And sometimes I can't, and sometimes, man, I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly off at the mouth real quick. So I'm trying to keep it cool today because I'm gonna have decent mood. So, guys, honestly, if you like my videos, I appreciate it if you support me, you know, at my Patreon page, like I said, my affiliate links, and anything else. If there's anything else you guys are, are wanting or looking for in another video or something like that, because I keep this channel circled around concealed carry. It's all about the Second Amendment. I'm strong about it. I'm super, super strong about it. I always have been. And it always will be that way. I'm, not, I'm never going to change that. So a lot of the things I do is going to talk about what I do as far as drills, practice, and even some of the, the political debates here coming up because I got some videos that I'm definitely going to start talking about and ranting about some of these the past whatever 20, 25 clowns over here on the left side of this deal talking about this, ent this entire bull crap policies, man, of, of, of common sense gun control. Give me a freaking break, man. I, I, I'm I'm putting that together, man, because I swear to God, that, that's, that's one thing that irks my ass, that irks my ass so much, man, is that people that don't pay attention, the average person that doesn't pay attention about this thing, and especially the young millennials, the young kids that's coming up, you know, they're not even being taught the whole purpose behind the Constitution. They're not even taught the Bill of Rights. They don't even understand what this is all about. But they damn straight programmed to think the other way. So when it comes to them, so when they when you get politicians coming out talking about, oh, you know, we've got common sense gun controls and we've got the answers for it. we need another AR you know, ban. It's like that's a bunch of bull crap. The ban was already done. It was done for nine years and proved to be zero effective. Had absolutely zero effect. None for nine years where that ban was going. No effect whatsoever. Matter of fact, not even, not just zero effect. It had a slight uptick in gun violence. A slight uptick on that ban for nine years. Okay. So why would they want to come out and talk about, you know what? I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this video. I'm going to save that video because I got a bunch more about it, man. I'm going to talk about it. each one of these clowns like fake ass Cory Booker along with Kamala Harris and along with the other ones too with Joe Biden and all the other clowns and Pete Buddha Judge and Eric Swalwell. What a communist piece of crap. I got a seriously, I got some videos coming about this. So if you guys want to see me put some videos together about this and really want to hear me rant about these clowns, about these communistic socialist clowns here on the left who basically are just looking for gun confiscation, let me know in the comments below when you see this video, okay? You let me know in the comments here. I'm going to share this also over on Facebook and let's see if I get banned over there on that trap too, okay? Because you know, Facebook ain't shit either. So, let me know, guys. Honestly, I got a lot to talk about, man. When it comes to this stuff, man, when it comes to the Second Amendment, oh, I, I just, I can't keep my calm. I can't keep my calm anymore, man. I've been quiet and low-key about this, you know, and just my thoughts about this just rage. They just rage about this, man, about so the, the disingenuous and misleading information about this entire thing when it comes to it, man. It just all oh, just makes my blood boil so bad. So, like I said, you want to see some more videos like this? I'm, a, I'm brewing. I'm putting them together, you know, in between the facts of when I'm out here uh, running drills or something like that or showing you guys some other stuff, man. I got some other videos to put together, dude. Seriously, I, I, got, I got a lot to say. A whole lot a lot of passionate things to say about this whole deal so let me know guys if you like the video hey like share subscribe I appreciate it let me know how you know what you want to see what you want to hear because I'm only gonna tell the truth I'm not gonna tell you what you want to hear I'm just gonna tell you the truth about what I do and about the Second Amendment and how I feel about it 
the Constitution. That being said, guys, make sure you uh, be careful out there. And always remember what I say right here. Being armed is mindset, not just physical condition.